Hello everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about layers. So it will be your introduction into layers. Um, for easier for you guys to isolate certain things within your drawing, for you guys to work with certain elements within your drawing when you guys have your layers all figured out. So the key to you guys creating your layers is the first portion of that is for you guys to first create your color plot style table. So what this is going to allow you guys to do is set a certain type of line weight for a certain layer color. So what we're about to do right now is to create a plot style that we can use when you guys go into printing that's going to allow you guys to print out your layers and make sure that they show up one in black and white and two with the correct line weight. So that's going to be the goal of what, why you guys use your layers um, in here. So to get started, um, we're in our model space here, but to get started with creating your color plot style, which again is your print settings, because you have to have that created for your layers to work. So we have to have the plot style that go hand in hand together. The plot style table and your layers are going to be two things that go hand in hand together. So you have to have your color plot style table created in order for your layers to work. And sometimes you guys can create your color plot style table one time and you guys can use that for multiple drawings. So once you guys create it once, if your layers are going to be the same in your other drawings that you guys have, um, then you guys can just use the same color plot style table and just create it once. So for you guys to get going with that, what we're going to do is you want to make sure that you are in your model space. Once you guys are in your model space, you want to go down to your model tab at the bottom. Once you guys are in your model tab or on your model tab, you guys just want to right click and you guys want to go to page setup manager. Once you guys are in page setup manager, we want to go ahead and go to new. Once you guys select new, we're going to go ahead and name our page setup name so we can go ahead and name this okay cat cat style just for purpose of example and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and hit okay Once you guys hit OK, you guys are going to be taken to your page setup model. Now, this is going to be what you guys saw when we were setting up your layout page. So it's a little bit of the same. It will take you guys to the same place. But what we click will be a little bit different. So what you guys are going to want to do once you name that style and it brings you guys to your page setup model box is you guys want to go over here to your plot style table. Now, this is going to be where you guys select, again, as I described in your previous video, this is where you guys select how your drawing is actually being printed. So what those layers are actually looking like. Um, and so, again, what we want to do is click on that fly out. And because we don't have the plot style table in here that we're going to be using, we're going to go ahead and go to new. Once you guys go to new, you guys want to make sure that you start from scratch. Once you guys select start from scratch, you want to hit next. Once you guys hit next, it's going to ask you guys to name what you want this plot style table to be. And we can just name it again the same thing that we just did. Once you guys have named that, you want to go ahead and hit next. Once you guys do that, it's going to ask you guys, excuse me, it's going to have the option for you guys to click. And before you guys hit finish, and this is going to be really important, you guys do not want to hit finish 
until you guys go into your plot style table editor. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the plot style editor by clicking on that box. Once you guys are in your plot style editor, this is where you guys are going to want to select the colors or the layer colors that you guys are going to be using in your drawing. And we're going to change what those settings or what those properties look like over here based on the result that we're trying to get for our lines as the end. So the categories that you guys are going to want to um, change for each of your colors are going to be to be your color. You guys will also take a look at your line weight, which is going to be really important. This setting is going to be really important um, here. You guys will also choose your line in style as well as your, your line join style. So what you guys are gonna wanna look at is normally when you guys are working on layers, um, depending on the project that you guys are working on, you will know kind of what those line weights need to be for each of the layers that you have uh, within your drawing. But because we're um, starting off kind of from scratch, I will give you guys that information. So what you guys are gonna be looking for um, is you guys are going to be looking at this table here. And this is going to be a part of your assignment that you guys are given, um, which gives you guys the layers that you guys are going to be working with, as well as your the color that needs to be changed in your plot style. So again, these colors that you guys see here will be the colors that you guys mess with over here in your plot style table. So if you guys have 251, you guys will find 251 and then make the changes that I'm about to go through with you guys. Um, again, number seven, we'll find seven. And if you guys have multiple numbers of the same number, you guys only need to change the setting for um, just for one of those and it will change the setting for all. So all of these 251s, you guys will only need to change 251 one time in your plot style table and it will change it for, for all of these. Um, your line type, your line weight type here as well as your description will all be things that you guys input once we're done with the plot style table setup but the most important thing that we want to look at right now is going to be the color that needs to be changed as well as the plot style line weight is going to be important as well so if we want to walk through that first one as an example again what i'm going to show you guys you guys will do this for each of your layers that you're using, okay? Each of the numbers that you're using, um, excuse me, each of the numbers that you're using for the layers, okay? So that'll be um, something you guys are looking at as well, okay? All right, so let's look at that first example here. So going back to your plot style table here, the first color that we're gonna look at is gonna be 251. So I'm just gonna scroll here on my plot styles until I get to 251. Okay. Once I get to 251, I'm going to click once. That will highlight it blue. Once you guys have that highlighted blue, you can go over to your properties and you can make your changes. So the changes that you guys are gonna be looking to make will be the first thing is your color. So this is going to be what color shows up when you guys are printing. So when you go to print, what does this color show up to, show up as? When you guys choose your OK CAD style CTB file, okay? So we want all of these colors to read black. The next thing that we want to look at is going to be our line weight. We're going to click on the fly out. And this is going to be where you guys go and look at 
what this says in your plot style line weight only. You will match that up to whatever that color is. So for 251, we are looking for 0.10. And again, all of this will make more sense when we go into the layers again, um, when we're done setting this up. So again, what we're looking at right now is the plot style line weight only. So for 251, it looks like that's gonna be 0.10. So I'm going to change my line weight to 0.10, which is going to be this one here. Once I change that to 0.10, I want to take a look at my line in style, and I want that to be but. That means that your lines, when you guys are doing it, will show up as a, a but. Um, as and not as these other options. So the option that we do want to choose is but, and the option that you guys want to choose on your line join style is going to be miter. Okay, so once we made that changes to 251, we can move on to our next color. And if you guys click on another color and they click back on that color, all of those changes that you guys made should still be there. So once you guys make your changes to your properties for those four items, you can just click on to the next color that you're working on. So for us, um, for purpose of example, that next color that I'm working on will be seven. So I'm going to click once on seven, and I'm going to, again, go back over to my property and make those changes. So I'm going to go to color and go to black. For seven, it looks like our line weight, it's going to be 0.25. So I'm going to click on that fly out and find 0.25. And if you guys see kind of as you're looking at this, the lines get thicker. So again, depending on the objects within a plan drawing or any type of drawing for that instance in the field that you guys are working on, all of your drawings will have associated line weights, which means that they hold a certain importance on your drawing. So that's part of you guys setting up your line weight is what type of importance is this going to show once I go to print out my drawing. So where I may show, for instance, my uh, on a finished floor plan, I may show my finished plans on the pattern of my finished plans in a lighter layer than I actually do, for instance, show my walls or my doors. So again, it's just visually showing whoever's looking at that drawing, the important objects on that drawing just by the line weight. It helps keep your drawings clean. It helps to add clarity on what um, items are gonna be important. So that's similar to what you guys are seeing here. So as I'm finding these, you guys will see that those thicknesses widen and that's only depending on what that object is on plan and how you guys want to represent that with the line weight. So again, what I'm looking for for number seven is going to be 0.25. So I'm going to click on that. And again, I want my line in style and my line join style to be the same as what I chose previously. So my line in style will still be but, and my line join style will still be miter. And you guys, again, those things will not change. Your line in style, your line join style, and your color for each of these. They will always be your black, your butt, and your miter. The only thing that will change as you guys are inputting your color is going to be that line weight because we won't be able to adjust your line weight once you guys go into creating the layers in your actual project. So again, I just want to continue to go down the line and complete all of these colors here. So I've done 251, I've done seven. So I wanna just keep going until I have all of these numbers that you guys see here set up with the settings that we just talked about as well as what those line weights are going to be associated with. So once you guys have completed all of those colors, this step is going to be really important. You want to make sure that you guys go to save as. So I'm going to go to save as 
mine's automatically pops up on where I want that to save. But for instance, if I wanted to save that to my desktop, and I'm going to show you guys how to bring this into your actual CAD. So it really doesn't matter where you guys save it at for now. Um, if it happens to default into your plot styles, go ahead and save it here. This is where you want it. But if it does not, and for instance, let's just say it ended up on the desktop, for instance, then I just want to make sure that I choose desktop and hit save. Once I do that, I want to go ahead and hit save and close. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. That will take you guys back to your page setup model dialog box. And you want to go ahead and hit OK from here and close. So that's going to be a really important part of you guys working with your layers is setting up your um, plot style first. So make sure you guys do that. Now to bring that plot style into your drawing because it will not automatically default into your drawing for you unless it automatically saves it in that plot style on your laptop or whatever device you guys are working on, which more than likely um, there may be some issues. So I want to show you guys how to get that into um, your drawings if once you guys do that, if it doesn't automatically default to um, that place. So what you guys are going to want to do is go and find first where you guys saved that file. So if I saved it here on my desktop, I just want to go just individually outside of CAD and go find that. So I named my OK CAD style. So I'm just going to click once. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. And I'm going to just close out of that file explorer again. It, you can go directly to your desktop if you saved it to your desktop and just copy it. So what we're trying to accomplish is get it copied um, to our clipboard here. Once you guys have copied that, um, you guys want to go up to your file. <clears throat> and you guys want to go to print. Once you guys go to print, if you guys go all the way down here, there should be an option that says manage plotters. You want to click once on that. That will open up your plotter. And what we want to do is click into our plot style tables folder. Once we do that, um, it will pop up the options of all the plot styles that you guys see when you go to print in AutoCAD. And what you guys want to do is just paste the color style table that we just created. So right now you guys see that it just pasted within that file. So once I do that, it's ready to use. I don't need to do anything else with my color plot style file. Okay, so once it's placed in here, you guys can select it when you go to print and you guys are done with that portion. And you guys can go ahead and close out of your dialog box. The next thing that we're going to look at is your layers itself. So again, once that's set up, um, if we start to work with our layers right now, the only layer that we have in here is the zero layer, which means that everything will fall under the same line weight, the same layer, which is not what we probably want to do if we're working on a set out in the field or even working on something here in school. We want to make sure that we have the correct line weight. So we probably nine times out of 10 want to make sure that we have layers within our drawing because one is going to make sure that it keeps your drawing organized as well as make sure that you guys show those important elements um, on your drawing. So to get started with your layers themselves, we're going to be on the home tab and we will be working over here with your layers panel here. So to get started with those layers, we're going to click on our layer properties. This will be where you guys create all of the layers um, that you guys are working on. So the first thing that I want you guys to look at when you open up your layers box is your portion over here. This is going to be your filters. Now, sometimes um, 
it will filter out just all used layers. So if I was to have my layers already within my drawing and I've applied those to um, my line types, um, I could choose all use layers and it will only show up over here the layers that are used within a drawing. Um, to keep kind of a safe keep, I go ahead and leave this on all just in case I need to switch that over because if you are in all use layers, that will be what pops up here in your drop down menu, in your quick drop down menu here. So I like to kind of keep all my layers on so I don't have to keep opening up my layer properties. Um, to find layers that are probably not already within my model space. So you want to go ahead and keep that on all. The four icons that you guys see up here, the first option with um, the sheets of paper that looks like there's the sun um, that's sitting on top of it is for a new layer. So anytime you guys are inserting a new layer, you guys would click on this icon here. You guys can also choose to freeze certain layers within your viewports. As you guys know from um, what we talked about in the last video, your viewports or what you guys create when you guys are in your layout tab or your paper space um, to see within your model. So it's saying that you guys are able to freeze certain layers uh, within certain viewports. The next option that you guys have in your icons is going to be your delete. So you guys can delete any layer that you guys create. You're not stuck with it. So once you guys create that layer, if you find you don't need it, you guys can just go back up and delete that, delete that out. And then the last option that you guys have is set current, which means that as you guys are drafting within your model space, you will have to choose what layer you want to draft in. Now, it's not set, set in stone. So once you guys set that layer and you start to kind of draft, you can always go back and change what the, the layer is for a particular line within your model. So you're not really stuck with it, um, even if you guys are drawing in a certain layer. So again, that's just what's current. You also will see a green check mark next to what layer is current as well. Because we only have the zero layer in here, um, that's going to be the layer that's currently current. I'm just going to spread this out a little bit so you guys can see what's up here a little bit better. And all I did was kind of hover between the letters, I mean the words, and it will bring up your the icon here, the two arrows going opposite ways. And from here, it will allow you to kind of move those out if you guys are having issues seeing what those um, options are here at the top. Okay. All right, so once you guys are here, um, what we're going to be doing is bringing in all of these layers. So again, where this comes into play is we've already changed all the settings for each of the colors that we're going to be using for each of these layers. We've also already set the line weight. So we won't have to set the line weight again in the layers panel. It will only be to set up the layer itself, which is the name, the color that we want to associate with that layer, what type of line type, is it continuous, is it dashed, is it um, hidden. So all of those line types you guys have available here. Of course, we're doing all continuous for now. Um, we also have your line weight. So we'll use pretty much default and then we'll also have one no print. So your line weight, when it talks about it in the sense of putting it into the layers um, dialog box, it means that it will default to whatever line weight we've chosen in the plot style. So you normally want to go ahead and leave that at default unless we're doing a no print layer, which means that we'll see it in our model, we'll see it on our paper space, in our viewport, where we just won't see it when we go to print out. So sometimes that's important if you have special notes that only, you know, is only important to the designer, but you want to make sure that it's there. You can sometimes put that in a no print, or if you have um, like the viewports themselves, like the outline of the viewports, you guys can change that over to a no print layer just so you don't see those borders. So again, it just depends on the project that you guys are working on. And then I always like to go ahead and add a description just in case you forget what you've put these layers as. So it's always kind of important to have that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and add a new layer. So I'm gonna choose this icon here. Once I click once on that icon, it will open up that new layer. It will automatically default where I'm renaming it. So for our first layer that we're putting in, it's gonna be the A Anno Dims dash 96. Okay. Once I have that typed in, I want to go ahead and just start to set the rest of this. So your options that you have is on, which means that do you want this layer to um, be on within your drawing? So you can always choose to turn that layer off, which means that you guys will not see it within that drawing. You also have the option to freeze a layer, which means that, again, it's very similar um, to your own, but it allows you guys to free turn on or turn off certain layers within your model space, um, which kind of helps as you guys are, are working on your project. So if you don't need to see a certain layer um, as you guys are working on something, you guys can turn uh, or you guys can freeze that, that layer. Um, you also have the option to lock the layer. So if we lock this layer, that means that we're no longer able to edit that layer within our model space. So that means that we can't change the location, we can't change um, anything about the properties of that line while it's locked. So this is really good if you guys have like columns that you, if you're working on a project and you have columns within a floor plan, you know for sure that you wanna make sure you don't accidentally move those or or mess with them doing like your demo sheet or construction sheet, you guys can freeze that layer, which means that you will make sure that you don't accidentally um, do anything to it. The next option that you guys have is your plot. For your plot, um, this means that whether you guys want this to print or not. So again, we normally want this to be on print unless we're doing a no print layer, which we do have one of those that you guys will have to put in. So just know that's where you guys would change that setting. Your color is where it's really important. So your color, you guys will want to set this color as the color that you guys have next to it on um, the table that you guys are given. So for example, for our ANO DIMS, um, we have color 51. So we're gonna wanna click on that color and we just wanna click once on the word. Once you guys click once, it will bring up your select color and we're gonna, gonna wanna find that 251 color. So normally the colors that you guys are gonna be working with are gonna be down here. Um, Normally you don't have to go up here and search for any colors unless it's um, kind of an odd color and then you might have to. And what you're looking for is as you're hovering over those, that index color that pops up here is the number of the color. So the one that I have my cursor on right now is color 49. So if we come down here, we should be able to find 251. So there's 251. I'm going to click once to select it, 251. That's how I know I have it selected, and I'm going to hit OK. And that should change the color here, which means now, because I've changed the color of this layer to 251, it will now plot that layer, that A, A and O DIMS layer, with a line weight of 10 because I've set that color at 251 and I've changed those settings, which means that it will now register those settings over here in that box. So because I chose 251, that line weight that we see will be 0.10, okay? The next option that you guys see is your line type. And again, this is all gonna be continuous for us. So we should not have to change anything um, in this options right now. Um, also, we want our line weight to stay as the default here. So we want to make sure that we keep that as the default. If you guys click on that, you just want to make sure um, that you're not changing that. We're just going to keep it at default because we've already changed our line weight 
for our plot style table. So we don't want to duplicate that. You also have the option to do um, to make that layer um, transparent. So you guys can change. What that looks like and I'm just going to move back so we can see everything. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so we can change what we want that transparency to be. You guys also have the option um, to freeze that layer in a newly created viewport, which means that anytime you guys create a new viewport, um, within your paper space, this layer will automatically be frozen um, on a default when you guys create that viewport. So I'll go ahead and leave that on for now, and I just manually change it if I need to. And then your description. So for our ANODMs, we want to keep that on. It will default. We want to keep our freeze to be on to change that. All you guys are going to do is click on that icon, and it will change it. So that light bulb was on. It's no longer on, which means that that layer is off. Freeze. If I click on that, it turns it into a snowflake. If it's frozen, it brings it back to the sun. If it's not, the same thing with the lock. I'm clicking once, it's going to lock it or unlock it. So it's really as simple as just clicking on those icons if you want to change it to that other option for these first four. I showed you guys how to do your color, your line tape. If this is something that you're changing, which we are not, but for purpose of example, for other projects you guys may work on, if you do want to change that, you'll just click on continuous. And sometimes you guys may have to go in here and load any of the other line types. So that's where you guys will go about doing that. And once you guys select whatever that new line type will be, you'll hit OK. And because I didn't select one, it doesn't do it. And it will appear here and you guys have that option. But just know that's how you load it. We're good with continuous for now. But if you do have another line type, you guys could change it here. Um, for your transparency, you guys would click on that number and then change what you want that transparency value to be. In your description, you guys want to, excuse me, for your new viewport freeze, this one works the same as your first four icons where you guys would just click on it. It changes it to turn it back on. You guys will just click on it again. You know, your description is where you guys can add in your description verbiage. So for this one, it looks like our verbiage will be dimensions for our one eighth of an inch scale. And we can just click anywhere out here. So we will do this for each of the layers that we add in. So again, for purpose of example, I'm just going to go ahead and add the next layer, but you guys will do, you guys will add each of your layers that you guys see here. So ANODIMS A -N -O -DIMS 96 is what we just added. ANODMs 48 will be the next one, and we will just continue down this list to add it. So I'm going to go ahead and just add like this A door layer just so I have another layer that's different so I can show you guys how to change that in the model space. So I want to have more than just two layers in here for purpose of example. So to do that again, I'm just going to go to add new again. It pops up the new layer, and again, this is just another example so we can go through it again. I'm going to name that layer. So for instance, if I was doing my A door layer, I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to keep the freeze on. I'm going to keep the lot unlocked. I'm going to keep my plot unchecked, which means I do want this to print. I'm going to change my color. So for our A door layer, it looks like that that color is 173. So I'm going to go find 173, and that's going to be my color, which means that it will plot out at a 20, 0.20 line weight. So again, I'm going to click on the color itself, and I'm just going to move until I find the 173, which should be somewhere over here. And sometimes it's kind of a, a fun little game of finding where those are. So it looks like that 173. 
173 is going to be here. So I'm going to click once on 173. I see that it's set at that. I'm going to hit OK. Um, I'm going to keep my line as continuous. Our line default will be the default here. We don't want a transparency on this layer. We don't want it to be freezed in our new viewports. And we want to change the description from dimensions for 1 8 scale to 1 4. Oh, I'm sorry. We want to change that description to doors. And again, once you guys have added all your layers in here, you guys should be good to go. And from here, you just want to click on that X to come out. Now, where you guys will see those layers come up in your kind of a quick menu access will be in your layers panel. So we've already dealt with our layer properties. That will be where you guys go and add in any of your properties for your drawing. Now, we can also access our quick menu. So if we click on the fly out here, it will bring up all of the layers that you guys have in your drawing. And of course, this list will look a little longer once you guys put in all of those layers. But it has our A anodems. It also has our A door um, as well. Um, we also have a few options that we can play with down here um, for the layers as well. Again, these are all of the quick options that you guys have in the pl layer properties. So we had our... Um, turn on, turn off in the layer properties. We also had our isolate. Oh, we didn't have our isolate, excuse me, sorry. We had our freeze and we had our lock. Our isolate is um, an option that we don't have in the layer properties, um, but we do have that option there. So on, freeze, and lock, um, all of those can be accessed from the panel as well. If you guys don't wanna have to constantly go into that layer properties um, box there. So to change, any of your lines that you guys have in your drawing to a particular layer, what you guys are going to want to do is select that line first. Once you have your line selected, right now that's defaulted to the zero layer. It will always be a zero layer in AutoCAD as default starting off. Um, so as kind of a tip, you could go in, draw your entire drawing in the zero layer, and then switch your layers over to the correct layers, or you can, you know, just kind of use the layers as you guys draw, but that will be kind of preference on what you guys choose to do with that. So once I make the selection of what I want to change, I want to go up to my top menu, click on the fly out and select what I want that to be. So for example, if I wanted, wanted this to be A and on DMs, just for purpose of example, I will click on that layer. And once I hit escape, it will make that line that layer. So if I click on that line again, it should pop up what that current layer is on that item. Um, as an example, if I click on this other wall, it's still set to the zero. So again, we'll need to go in and change it. So if I was wanted to change my door layer, I would select that door, click on my fly out, and choose my A door as the layer. Um, a good dead giveaway to know if your layers are being applied is it should turn to the color that you guys have changed that layer to, which is good. We want our model space to be colorful, right? Um, it's only when we switch over to our paper space and we go to print um, that we choose that plot style, which will turn all of our colored lines into just a black, um, line type, which is what we want. So you guys will do this for each of your um, items within your drawing. You'll select that item and then you'll go up to your layer menu once you guys have put all those in and you'll change what you want that to be. Okay. You guys also in your drop down menu, you have also those icons again. You're owning, you're off. It has your freeze and it has your lock. So if, for example, we were working with this door layer and we wanted to turn it off, we would just click on that icon. You guys will see that it turns that door off. It's still in my model space. It's just turned off and I can't see it. To turn that back on, I'm just gonna click once again and it turns it back on. To freeze it, works the same way. I would just click on that icon. Um, sometimes if you're on that layer, so, 
it's my current layer, so it's telling me I can't change it. If you guys get this pop up, just go ahead and make one of your other layers the current layer and then go back and um, freeze it. Okay, so um, just make sure you guys do that. You can also, again, lock it. If I click on this lock, you notice that it kind of becomes a little bit more um, grayed out or transparent, um, but I can no longer select that So or no longer do anything with it. So if I hover next to it, you'll see a lock. If I hover next to my other items that haven't been locked, um, it won't bring up that lock. But just know that once you guys have that locked, um, you guys won't be able to do anything with it. You can select it, but it won't allow you guys to move it or make any edits to it. So I'm just going to unlock that for purpose of example. So once you guys get all your layers in, the next step is to go in and switch all your layers over. So depending on what it is. So a chair, we're probably going to want to put that under our A fern, which means that it's our furniture layer. So you guys are gonna wanna look at what those descriptions are and just kind of, you know, process of elimination, depending on what you have in your drawing, just switch it over best as possible. So if you have doors, switch those over to the A door. If you guys have um, furniture, switch that over to the A furniture. If you guys have windows on your window sills, you guys will choose that, switch that over to that layer. So, um, you guys will just kind of have to go off of what your descriptions are, and then you will change it over to that layer based on what it is. But this is just kind of different depending on the project that you guys are working on. It will differ. differ. Um, so it just kind of depends. Um, also, I just want to quickly show you guys how the icons work if you guys just want to quickly select those. Um, so again, these are the same, but to select them, I can select the off button and I can just click once on that and then go to my model space and just select the items that I want um, that I want to, for instance, turn off. So if I select the turn off, I would select that and then, for instance, turn off the door. To turn that back on, I would escape out of that. And to turn it back on, I would just click on the icon right under that, which means to turn on back on all layers, if that's what I want to do. And it will turn that door back on. It works the same way if you want to isolate. So if I want to isolate anything in my drawing, I'm going to click once on that icon. And for instance, let's just say, um, again, for purpose of example, if I want to do this layer here. So that A N O D M 96, I will click on that item that has that layer assigned to it in my drawing. Once I click once, you guys can right click and hit enter or just hit enter on your keyboard. It will isolate everything that ha has been categorized under that layer. So if I had more items that was under the A N O D M 96 layer, all of those items will be present here. To turn to unisolate, you'll just go back up to that icon and select the one right underneath it. And if you guys are ever confused on what they are, if you just kind of hover and hold, um, it'll give you a description of what that icon is again. So this is kind of a tip. So to turn that back on, I'm going to click on the unisolate and that turns that back on. Okay. Um, to freeze works the same way. I will select freeze. Um, what I want to freeze within my drawing. So if I wanted to freeze my ANODMs and maybe I want to freeze the door too, I would select and just click once on those items and they will start to freeze within my drawing. To come out of that, I'm just going to hit escape. And to get those back, I'm just going to go back to thaw out and it will bring back up those layers that I had thawed within there. So nothing's being deleted when you guys are working with layers. It's just kind of turning things on and off, kind of seeing what needs to be worked on at the time. Um, so again, that's really helpful because we don't want to be deleting things out of our drawing just to um, create a certain plan sheet or a certain elevation sheet. Um, we want to keep all that information within our CAD. We just want to play around with what's visible and what's not visible in the model space or and or the paper space. Um, so I'm going to, um, so that's where you guys will do kind of your quick um, buttons here. You guys can also choose to make a, current, a layer current. So we have three layers in here right now. So I can choose to match, to make current, 
because right now my zero layer is current, I can choose to make the door layer current. So that's all that would do um, if you guys select that. You can also choose to match layer, which is really kind of a cool tool too. Um, if you guys choose or make one of the items in your model space a particular layer, and let's just see you say you want to quickly change over other lines to that layer without having to select the line and then go up to the menu, change it, and do that process every time. You guys can just select match layer. It will ask you to select what object you want to match. So, for instance, if I want to match my door layer, I'm going to select my door layer and then I'm going to choose where I want to apply that layer to. So, for instance, if there was also a door over here, there's the same as window was a door, I would click once on those items. Whatever items I want to choose, hit escape and it will... Um, and it will change. And I'm actually going to show that one more time because um, I think I missed a step that will be helpful. So if you guys are using the match layer, you will select it, select what item you want to match. So if the door layer, again, is the layer I want to match. I want to click once and I want to right click. That will, will bring it into now selecting what layer you're matching to now where do you want to place that destination to. So again, if um, I want to change these window options to that layer. I would just select it in my space. So again, once we click on that, it'll change that door layer to whatever layer we selected. So you're selecting the item first that you want to change over to whatever layer, and then you're going to go find that layer. So choose the item first and then choose the um, layer that you want to apply to that item you chose. So um, That'll be how you guys go about using your um, menu box up here. So again, to get started with your layers, the most important thing that you guys are going to want to do is first set up your plot style options, which was the first step that we did. Once you guys do that, you will come over into your model space. You guys will go to your layer properties you guys will want to add in all your layers from there you guys want to come over into your model space and change over all of your zero layers over into the layers that you guys have input okay once you guys have done that um you guys will go over to your layout i'm just going to quickly add a viewport i just typed in viewport single and okay I'm going to create that viewport. So for instance, if I'm printing this out, once I've added all those layers in, um, I would go to file at the top, go to print. If you guys get this option, just go ahead and go to continue to plot a single sheet. If that pops up for you. And um, where you guys are going to want to change this at, of course, all of your settings should be set for your plot style. Um, those should be set when you guys do your page setup manager. We talked about that in a previous video. But where you guys are going to want to look at is under your plot style table. So I'm going to want to click down on that menu and I'm going to want to find my plot style. So mine is the OK Cat style here. Um, I'm not sure why that's missing because we added it, but you guys shouldn't have a missing next to yours. Um, it should just pop up because we added it in that plot styles folder. So once you have that selected, select it, you'll hit OK. So again, um, this is going to be where you apply all of those layers. So once you have everything in there, this is going to be the most important thing to change. Um, when you guys go to print, again, to ensure that your drawing prints out in black and white and not in your color. If we were to select none, any colors that you guys see for your layers will plot. It will print. So it won't be printed out in black and white. It will print out in color, which is normally not what we want when we're working on a drawing set. We want it to show up in the black and white. Um, so we'll do that as well as correct whatever layer and weights you guys have. So that'll be where you guys apply your plot style table will be here. Once you have all your layers, and then of course you guys will hit OK once you're ready for to print that out. 
So that has walked you guys through your layers, getting started with your plot style, getting started with your layers, um, working with your layers panel, and adding your layers in. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.